Hi guys, I hope you're well. If you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Blakemore and I'm a teacher here in Dubai. In previous videos, I've made a range of different Bitmoji tutorials and that is exactly what we're going to do today. In today's video, we're going to be taking the Bitmoji classrooms a little bit further. We're going to be stepping outside the classroom and going into the corridor looking at Bitmoji virtual lockers. So Bitmoji lockers offer a fantastic opportunity for children and teachers to share a little bit about them as a bit of a get to know me activity. It also helps children develop their digital literacy skills that they will need in the future, whether that's through distance learning or just generally using computers in schools or in the future. At the same time, there are also other things that these Bitmoji lockers could be used for. For example, you could then amplify this and use it for an English lesson like I'm going to show you. So we're going to cover a few different things. I'm going to show you what mine looks like at the moment, and then I'm going to show you how to create the Bitmoji lockers, and then from there I'm going to also show you some other ways that these can be used. If you haven't already checked out my other Bitmoji tutorials, the Bitmoji Classroom one has been most popular. I'm going to use some of the similar skills from that video, so feel free to check that one out. It's not a prerequisite to this video, but it will be useful to know some of those skills too. If you haven't already liked the video, that's also really appreciated, and if you're new to the channel, a huge welcome, and feel free to subscribe. So let's jump into what my Bitmoji Locker looks like at the moment, and then we'll get started with the tutorial. So here you can see my Bitmoji Locker, as you've probably seen from the thumbnail, and yeah, there's lots of things that I like within this locker. So the children straight away could see, oh, he likes, cameras or photography as I was I would explain uh, travel that's where the planes there music hence the clarinet and the uh, the treble clef and then yeah I like basketball in addition you can see my YouTube channel so then we'll click onto that click onto Thomas Blakemore there we go oh it is my YouTube channel and you can subscribe there too so then from here, what we need to do is look at how you guys can create your own Bitmoji lockers so that you can share that with your pupils too. So I'm going to go on to the other one that's just here. And one thing I do want to say is I'm going to share both templates with you guys and it's going to be shared down in my description of the video and I'm sharing those for free. I don't expect anything similar to the Bitmoji Classroom tutorial. If you would like to donate something to charity or food banks or something like that to those families who might be struggling at the moment due to everything that's happened in the world, feel free to do that. That's always appreciated. So to start off with, yeah, here we have a backdrop and there's lots of different skills that you can use here. To start off with, you'll need this Bitmoji add-on. Make sure you've added that by Googling Bitmoji and downloading it. I've got so many tutorials showing you how to do that. To get the ones without the writing, like you can see here, uh, we just need to search codes. <laughs> I can type it properly. And oh, we'll go for walking down the corridor on this one. There we go, we just resize in all those bits and pieces like that. Okay, so then we're going to put things in the locker and I'm going to show you some different skills here too. So we're going to go insert image, search from web. Now you'll see I typed in music arts, uh, no music clip art, no background. No background is always a good tool to use. Uh, PNG or transparent, you'll also find a range of different uh, pictures without a background there too. You don't want the white coming on, but I'm going to show you something that you can do if you do have white coming on to your pictures in a second. So. Uh, let's go for, uh, I like uh, globes, so being really creative. Uh, and I'm going to put this one on here. Now I'm hoping. There we go, no background. And I'm going to cut it now to a few more pictures. Now you'll see here, you just need to size it. So now the next step is trying to download a picture where you just can't find one without a background. So I'm gonna find one that does have the white background. We're going for the clippers and I'm just going to save image as, I'm probably gonna lose subscribers, but they're doing well at the moment. So clippers, I'm just gonna save it into my downloads. I'm going to go to a website called Remove BG. And then on Remove BG, I'm going to upload that onto there. So then on Remove BG, I'm just going to upload the picture and then I will just download that from this little section here. And then you can see I've downloaded it. Once I've done that, click off these. And then on here, 
and just drag that onto there. Very basketball orientated, this picture. Now, one thing that we can do that you've also seen is add in links. Now to do that, what you're going to do is tap the item that you need to add the link to. I'm just going to put that to Google Maps. And I'm just gonna link them to Google Maps. So copy. Now I've already clicked on the item I want to add the link to. Make sure the blue box shows up. Insert, and we're going to insert the link here. Apply. So then when the children tap onto that, it's going to take them to Google Maps. And I'm sure you teachers can imagine lots of different ways that you can uh, use that. In addition, one thing that I don't really share so much is that you can actually add GIFs. Now, you obviously need to be careful of what <laughs> you put in, uh, but for example, if I wanted to put uh, music, I could uh, <laughs> add this little chappy in. Get a few bits and pieces, then you can see we've got a GIF inside the locker. Uh, it's up to your personal preference. I'm not too keen on the GIFs, but it's something that you can do. Uh, in a similar way that you can do this with the Bitmoji classrooms, you could also remove the standard Bitmojis and add in the 3D animated Bitmojis that I've shown you guys in a previous video. That would be good as it develops a range of other digital literacy skills too. In addition to that, I've shown you guys how to add in teacher GIFs so you can take the Bitmoji element out of it completely so that you've not got just these two guys, but you've actually got yourself or your children could include themselves as a GIF too, which again develops other skills as well. Don't forget, you can also add text in using the text box and that's quite straightforward to do. Uh, there's also additional shapes and things like that that you can add in just in case you want uh, nice frames. You can change the rotation. Uh, you can change the sort of uh, order. If you go on to rotate, you can flip the picture just in case you need to do that. Uh, if you need to order something, then you could bring uh, that to the back. I'm going to send that to the back there and I'm going to just bring it behind here. So then it gives it a little bit of a, a 3D effect too, just in case you wanted to uh, do something like that and then add more in this background here. So as you can see, there's so many different things that you can do. We're going to also talk about a different use for this now. So one idea that I had that I really liked for using the lockers was for English. Now, what you could do is potentially ask the children to create their own character, or it could be that they've got a character inside a book, and you ask them what items they need for a specific journey. Or you could do a bit of inside outside. So outside the locker, children share specific uh, adjectives that describe the characteristics of a character on the outside, and then inside the locker, similar to inside the person, you have those simple characteristics and adjectives that describe that character too. So you could have you know, they're brave, kind, those sorts of bits and pieces, and then their external appearance, uh, humongous, and all those different bits and pieces. So it can really be used as a, a literacy, English, whatever you call it, uh, activity too. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and you found it useful. Like I said at the start of the video, there are some free templates that you can download in the description. I don't expect anything for them, but if you want to donate to charity or something along those lines, that's appreciated too. If you did like the video, feel free to like it. That is appreciated. And if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. But until the next time, I'm out.